I should have thought to take this uh, video sooner. I was down, see where that big screen is up there? That's the end of Bangla Road. Bangla Road is the night spot, has all the bars. So I was just walking up through the sidewalk here. This is the street that I was on yesterday. And it's something Ratto tip. So I thought I would just continue down. The Royal Paradise Hotel and Spa, that's a great big one back there. Just to show you what Thailand looks like. Lots of little streets, they call them a soy, S-O-I. Lots of scooters. Lots of souvenir places. Lots of restaurants. Lots of massage places. fish. Don't know what they are. Got some crustaceans. Look at the size of that one. That is big. I think those are all apartments over there. They look identical. There's that Paradise Hotel. So hello in Thai is Sawadi. And if you're a female, you end it with ka. So a female would say sawadi ka. But a male ends it in kap. So a male would say hello, sawadi kap. Well, next year there will be a new business in here. Oh, there's my favorite truck that's so annoying. You don't see too many Mercedes over here because the import tax 
on vehicles, I guess, is astronomical. A lot of Kawasaki motorcycles are actually built in Thailand. They have a factory here. So I don't understand why they're not a whole bunch of Kawasaki um, scooters. Most of them are Honda. I have seen a few Yamahas. I think that's about it. You can see how steep that hill is over there. when you're walking around. You got all this traffic. You got all these people that want to play music so loud. So this is a street right down there a little ways where I stayed the first two times I was here. It's like the name of the street is like Sinaman, Sinaiman, something like that. But going down to the beach, which is right ahead, it's an actual, a different name. And I think it changes at that intersection right behind me. So I think this is more like Sawat D. I think I said once before that the uh, predominant group here, tourists, are um, from Russia. So you can see right there the Georgia restaurant and they have um, the front of the restaurants in Russian. Pomegranate juice. I don't think I've ever had pomegranate juice. This is a school that's all new since I was here four years ago. It's not as hot today. Where I was just coming down that street just before this one, normally the sweat would be pouring right off me, but there's a little breeze today, and I'm assuming it's a little bit cooler because it's not bad at all. There's the water. So the tsunami that hit back in 2004. When there used to be a little bar that I'd go to, right where that blue building is. Thanks for the music. Uh, I asked her how far the water came up, and she said it came up right up to that street back there. But it is, you know, an incline or decline right here to the water.
They've been working on this sidewalk. You can see where they've been putting uh, some cement on the edge. They've been putting these um, lines on the road. I'm not sure why they put a lot of effort into it because nobody pays attention to them. So I was at the end of Bangla Road today and I see they got the local police out stopping every foreigner. Oh, that doesn't have a helmet. But you could be a man and you can have your four-year-old daughter standing in front of you, in front of your seat, hanging onto the handlebars for dear life. And they don't even pay attention to them. Neither one of them has a helmet on. It's not even subtle. So I don't think there's really much else here to uh, see. Talk to you later. Probably in Cambodia. <laughs>